I'm Alexa Schwerha with Campus Reform, and you're watching Five Big Questions. Today, I'm joined by senior Georgia campus correspondent, Robert Schmad. Robert is one of 213 correspondents that works with us here to expose all of the latest on liberal bias craziness at their colleges and universities. Robert is a junior at Emory University, where he is studying political science and statistics. Robert, thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, you know, great to be here. So you have covered quite a bit for campus reform over the last semester, uh, one of the latest being an incident at Emory where a fraternity was reprimanded for hanging a Christmas decoration outside of their frat house. Another story that definitely caught my attention was a series of pro-choice workshops conducted by the university despite its affiliation with the Methodist Church. Robert, can you tell us a little more about how you came to be involved with campus reform and reporting on these type of stories? Yeah, so it really started with, you know, many correspondents over the pandemic, you know, just looking for something to do to keep ourselves occupied, you know, to fill that void that uh, virtual learning had kind of created. And I stumbled across a story, I have no recollection as to which one it was, um, went to Campus Reform, Reform's website, looked around and found out, well, hey, you know, these articles are all written by students, which really took me by surprise, given like the quality of what I was reading and the reporting happening. So I was like, you know, I really want to get involved with this. So I, you know, filled out our application form, did all that stuff. And, you know, since then, I think that was like a year and eight months ago or something like that. Uh, and, you know, and since then, it's been a great experience. It's really opened a lot of doors for me, uh, really improved my writing skills. Uh, you know, I really cannot praise the program and the uh, organization enough. That's awesome. And you know, you're definitely not alone with experiencing liberal bias on college campuses. We see it all across the country, which is why we're able to work with so many campus correspondents, such as yourself, who want to expose what is happening and what they're experiencing on a regular basis. So can you kind of tell us what your experience has been with liberal bias on campus and what really inspired you to want to take action? Yeah, so when I first got to the university, it was a very jarring experience coming from a relatively traditional high school. Um, people were very, very different. And my initial response to that was to kind of obfuscate my true views to kind of cope with it. Uh, however, as time went on, I started, you know, writing some more opinionated stuff in the school paper, becoming more involved in certain orga organizations. And since then, I I've gotten a lot of hate, you know, get a mean DM every once in a while, and maybe someone calls you on the phone, like, hey, why'd you write this? Uh, so it's been rough, but, you know, it, it really is what you, what you expect. Uh, I'd say probably the worst part is for a lot of apolitical people, you're kind of forced into like this very liberal progressive mindset because if you don't adhere to that there are very very substantial social costs that come with it so i feel for a lot of my you know not super into politics peers who don't really feel like uh you know sacrificing social clout for voicing their beliefs absolutely so moving on, a trend that has really been noticed by students is that they're saying they're done with this liberal bias and they're seeing it more with their campus newspapers. At Emory, you are editor in chief of the student publication, um, the Emory Wing, correct? Uh, the Emory Wig, like the Wig. Uh, old political party. Yeah, uh, yeah. so I started that uh, back in November of last year, uh, right before or right after the election. I, I can't quite remember. Um, and that, that was the product of me becoming kind of really fed up with these um, the school paper, which kind of brands itself as a content neutral way for students to voice their opinions. And I came to find writing for them, they weren't really truly content neutral. Uh, there were arguments they wouldn't let me make, um, information they wouldn't let me cite, you know, all these things, you know, becoming fed up with that. I really felt it necessary to, you know, create an independent platform where students could, you know, voice their uh, opinions uh, without, you know, that big leviathan looking over them um and you know that that content neutral space i've created has largely presented as a conservative publication which you know makes sense conservatives are obviously very uh reluctant to share their thoughts with people who they may view as hostile on campus and you know we've we've seen moderate success since then it's been a very a very enriching experience uh we've made some waves uh some very unpopular stories with the student body uh again a lot of our writers have gotten you know, similar hate mail to me. So, you know, it, it's nice and it's not, it you know, kind of oscillates. Right, yeah, that's been incredible to watch as more student publications have been coming up across the country. I know specifically in Texas, there are a lot of newspapers that are specifically designed to give conservative students and libertarian students more so a voice on campus. So that's great that you have an outlet there in your campus you can use as well. So to wrap us up here, what advice would you have for student journalists? Yeah, I mean, obviously, number one, get involved with campus forum. Cannot recommend it enough. It, like I said, opens a lot of doors to really get your career going. But, you know, also don't be afraid to really put your views out there. I think people in the journalism sphere, as odd as it may sound, really do value honesty. You know, journalism, journalist honesty doesn't always click for us, but I, I do think there's some truth to that. So don't obfuscate your views, write what you believe, and really 
really try to get it out there. Like don't don't like hide on campus because you feel like there are social costs that might harm you. You know, in the long term, you're gonna have trouble forming genuine relationships if you you know keep keep doing that. So you know, if you're conservative, if you're interested in journalism, write what you feel, get involved with campus reform, and yeah, that that puts you on a pretty good path, I think. Awesome. Well, Robert, we love to hear it. We love all the work that you're doing on your own campus and here at Campus Reform. Thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, no problem. It was great to be here.